Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. Apologies for not having a video last week. My voice was feeling rather sore and in fact it isn't 100% at this particular moment in time, but it seems to be good enough to do a video. So where were we last time? Well, last time in Kerbal Space Program, we were pottering around the base, as far as I can remember, trying to get a little bit, uh, trying to get some science by doing some experiments in and around the different areas of the base. So the VAB, the um, SPH, the uh, I think the astronaut complex. We did the research R and D uh, center. We did the tracking station, the launch pad, the crawlerway, so on and so forth. In this one, we are going to be doing things slightly differently. We're not staying on ground. We are going up in the air and you are looking at the vessel that is going to be taking us into the skies. This is the Tesla EXP-01, not in any way related to the Tesla Motor Company. As a matter of fact, the reason I've called this the Tesla is because it is remote controlled, it is unmanned, and Nikolai Tesla is the one who actually uh, patented the remote control if my if my memory serves me correctly I'm pretty I'm going to have to check this but I'm going to check this right let's roll that intro and I'm going to do a quick check on this right yes it was Nikola Tesla Nikola Tesla was the one who, who did that. Um, he demonstrated it in 1898. So there we have it. So that is why I have actually called this Tesla. It has nothing to do with the other company. Um, just let's ignore that part. I am calling this Tesla because that is why all my unmanned vessels are going to be called Tesla. So what is this vessel and why do I have it? Well, if I go over to the contracts, uh, is it that one? How do I check my contracts? There it is. If we have a look at this one, the... Right, which one is it? Offered... I think it's one of these. Uh, orbit cabin... I have no idea where it is. But there, there is a... There is an experiment, which apparently I can no longer find. Uh, do I have it active already? No. Anyway, there is an experiment where it's we have to go up into the sky above 18,000 meters. We have to do an experiment and then bring it down. There is a contract that states that we have to do that and then recover said, uh, said rocket or said experiment. The only problem with that is that it has to be unmanned. Now, I had the real antennas, and the real antennas were causing a lot of problems. That mod was causing problems, so I've got rid of that mod, and I've replaced it with remote control. And I think that mod will be running a lot better. So, this is what I have. I have a Mark 16 parachute at the top. I have uh, this, which I've forgotten what it's called, the Bell TRU Telemetry Response Unit. I have a materials bay, Hello. I have a materials bay which apparently has decided to multiply everything. I didn't tell it to make two of these. I just want a single one of all of these. What is wrong with it? We're going to be grabbing as much in the way of science as we possibly can. But uh, yes, I've, se I've noticed that we've been having difficulty with the which one am I looking for? We've been having difficulty with the antenna, the real antennas mod, so I've got rid of it. There we go, that's better. Let's save that. So we've got a materials bay here, as you can see. Nice and pretty. And we've got our cameras, we've got our uh, mystery goo, we've got our thermometer, barometer. This one here is a radiometer. Um, should should do the trick this is a Geiger counter I'm not sure if that and that will do the same thing if it does then oops 
and this is a liquid fuel tank we're using the bell 200 liquid fuel tank you can see the uh the pattern here i'm using the bell tru the bell liquid fuel tank i was actually going to use the bell where is it um is this here somewhere there it is the bell materials bay i was going to use this as well uh, but i decided not to because i didn't see it until afterwards in fact you know what just for the sake of it let's just do that why not can't all of you all of you like pop off maybe i should just rename this the bell There you go. Okay, now all of you need to once pop back on. That's an interesting pattern. That's an interesting way you want to. There you go. That's better. Right, we need to try and make this as accurate as I can. You go there, you go there, you go. Why are you doing that? slightly confused as to what that's doing and why it's fine you go there you're happy there there you go you're happy there you seem to want to dig in a little bit but that's okay same with you guys you you seem to want to dig in a little bit well, I'll, I'll leave you up there then and then I'll do the symmetry for you you guys can go there there we go okay so this is what we have so we have that we have that so we've got plenty of science this entire module lots and lots of science now there are no decouplers on this at this point in time you may ask why um i'm just going to try and bring the entire rocket down in one go that's that's the plan so i want to see what's what happens but to ensure that i can bring it down in one go i have got a raft of parachutes off obviously the mark 16 up there i've got a real shoot here i've got two drogue shoots here the two drogue shoots will fire first they will slow this vessel down as it's coming back down then we're going to fire those two and bring the vessel to a nice and safe landing hopefully on the water let's bring this up a bit so we can take a good look at it down here underneath the liquid fuel tank we or on the side of the liquid fuel tank we have a few wings or winglets this is just for stability and it's going to give us some amount of control and then at the bottom we have an engine which does have a the nozzle does move around and you can see that it has quite a few uh, jets in different directions to help maintain stability and move or maneuver the vessel in specific directions so that is what i am going for that is my plan uh, as to whether it is going to work i do not know my i think it's eighteen thousand feet that we need to head to so let's go ahead and leave this we'll go to the uh contract center what is it mission control we'll go to mission control check what the con contract is and then plan accordingly i think if my maths is correct, and it, it might not be correct. That's the one, the first flights. That's the one right there. That's the one I want. Uh, there we go. Altitude above 18,000. So what do I need to do? Launch a new vessel. Yes, it has to be uncrewed. Check. Has to get off the ground. Check. On Kerbin, flying above 18,000. We're going to gather science. We have to be flying high any experiment and we have to recover it that is the we, we cannot transmit we must recover so that is the one i'm going to take as for this one i still have no idea where the j85g4 engine is so i'm going to leave that whilst uh i'm just going to leave it i want to take more contracts but we shall have to see so i'm going to take the this one right here is that the one that is the one there we go that is now a contract that i have i'm also going to see what the upgrade does ah max active contract seven that is probably something that could be worth it uh let me take this up first and then we'll look at upgrading mission control so we're going to click this we are going to go for why has it got unknown parts modules what is the unknown parts module? Real mo module, real antenna. 
We've got rid of that. I, I believe we've got rid of it, so I'm going to... Ah, that has 24 parts, 23 parts. Hang on a second. Did I forget to save it? I may have forgotten to save it because I made that before the episode and that's when I realised that there seems to be some issues with the antenna. But, um, oops. Uh, how many parts do we have? 23 parts. That's the one. That is the one I'm saving. That is the one I'm launching. It seems to happily launch. Must be residual. Now I am I am using a different setup, or the microphone's in a different in a different place, and things are in a different place. So I'm hoping that this sounds a little better. I'm not sure overall. But, um, things are still going to change. There's still a lot going on with my setup, um, but I'm hoping this sounds better. It's a little bit better to manage. The microphone's sort of directly in front of me now, and just above my head. But it, it isn't perfect yet. But it is better to manage. Okay. Here we go, right, I'm going to... So my plan is lift, rotate, go in that direction. That's the direction I want to go in, because I think there's just lots and lots of hills in that direction, or I could just go in that direction. I really, it doesn't really matter, but I'd rather have a water landing, that's for sure. Okay, let's give this a go. Let's, uh, I'm thinking about, um, a screenshot thumbnail. No, we'll do it while it's flying. We will do it whilst it's flying. Right, here we go. SAS on. Ooh. Well, that went well. I'm going to say we just lost... I'm going to say we just lost some money. I'm actually going to count that as a as lost money. Uh right. Okay. So how do I get out of this now? I have no idea. Space Center. What happened there? What's happened there? I definitely Okay. That should have worked. In theory, that, into that setup should have been perfect. There should not have been any issues theoretically with that. At all, in any which way. What's happened? I'm so very confused. I want to try that again. Oh, there it goes. It doesn't have the issue anymore. Uh, I want to try that again. That cost, that just cost us 12 grand. Okay, I'm going to try this again, and I, I am 100% sure that this can work. Theoretically, there should be nothing going wrong with this, unless it's stuck in the ground. But uh, maybe because I didn't do a countdown, that's probably what it was. Uh, right. Let's keep that up there as well, so we know what's going on. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. Something's gone wrong. Something has very much gone wrong here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to the launch on that because I want to know why that's tipping over so suddenly. There is nothing that should be tipping that in. If, it, if anything, it should be tipping over in the opposite direction. Unless I've got mouse control on and that's moving it. Oh. Oh. Let me check. I doubt that. So I'm pretty sure that's off. That's not off. That's probably what it was. Okay. Apparently it wants to fly in this direction. No, it's... it's uh... This is a very, very... I'm not sure what's going on. I'm going to go back to the vehicle assembly because something's gone wrong there. Now, I'm going to point out I did do a quick test to make sure this gets off the ground. And it does. 
and it does get off the ground so I am very confused as to what has stopped this the only thing I've changed here is that materials okay okay fine look I'm going to put you on this side and you on this side this is the only thing I've changed I've got a feeling this might be causing a problem I am so confused this should not be doing what it's doing at all it, it defies it literally defies physics there in the way it's flipping over it should it should be if anything it should have flipped in the opposite direction but okay fine um i'm going to work on it this wouldn't be wouldn't be one of my episodes without uh without that failing or something failing just when i test it and it all went well And I promise you I did test this and it all went well. Let's see what it is that could be causing this. This isn't even properly aligned now. Well done. Uh, but I'm going to check this out. There it goes again. It just tips straight over. It just tips straight over. It's that it's that bell assembly. I should have I should have stuck with the materials one that I had. It's it, that's exactly what it is. It's so top heavy it just flips. Ah, all right, here we go. Well, we've lost some money. I'm not going to go again on this because, well, I'm just not going to do that. But okay. So now we have to take all of this off again. Uh, drop that part throw that away go away throw that away go back to science grab the not science junior materials what where is it oh it's this science junior there you go that's one scale that down to the right size 925 I think there you go. Connect that up again, and oh, that's one back in. Do that. Uh, hook these in. I guess two will be reasonable for that. We do not want any symmetry anymore. Hook you in, and we're back to what it was before. And this should not tip over because I've tested this and I know it doesn't. I know very well that this does not tip over. Right, save that. Let's see if that runs now because that should run. Okay, right. Now if this works then we know exactly what it was. If it doesn't I'm absolutely 100% stuck again. But here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. No, what's happened? Something has changed. Something has changed between me testing this five minutes before the episode started and now. And I have no idea what that something is. I did have, all right, running through the test, I had SAS on. It was running, it was working fine. There was no issues whatsoever. All right, you know what? Yeah, there it goes again. Look at it. Why is it leaning so far on one side? I've added parachutes. That's the difference. That's the only difference I can think of. 
I've added parachutes to it, but we are up and away. Those parachutes must be incredibly heavy to be causing this kind of issue. But uh, yeah, we are up and away. That, yeah, it has to be the parachute. I think there's there's no way of getting out of that one. But we are... Oh, if it's the parachute, my calculations may not be suitable then if the parachute is causing that problem. Oh, no. Oh, I need to reach 18,000 feet, right? We're okay. We're not at 18,000 feet yet. We're at 8,000. All right, maximum power. Let's see where we get to. And we've... Yep. That's happened. What are we going to reach? I cannot believe those parachutes have done that to me. 12,000 feet. Our apoapsis is going to be about 14,000 feet, no more. Nope, it's 13,000. Well, I mean, we got up into the sky, so that's good. Let's Let's see what what we can get here anyway. We might as well get our nothing there. Anything else come out from anything else then? You guys, alright, so we've done the whole flying over Kerbin thing. I cannot believe that. I think it's that parachute. It has to be that parachute. It cannot be anything else. What speed are we doing? 277. We're going to need to slow ourselves down, I think at 4,000, 5,000 meters, I'm going to start slowing ourselves down. Deploy those. Whoa! That was a rapid deployment. But, all right. So we've got two drogue shoots that are helping us. Let's uh, fast forward, that was probably a bit too quick. And now they've deployed fully. We're not hitting the surface at 20, 20 meters per second. We're going to deploy full parachutes at 1,000 meters. There it is. Full parachutes deployed. And 500 meters over the ground, we are dropping quite nicely. This is going to take a little bit of time, but do not worry. Right, okay, so we managed to get up, but due to... It's got to be the parachutes. Due to those parachutes, things have gone wrong. Right. I really like the water in this. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. There we go. And recover. Recover. Okay, we managed to earn some science, which is good. Um, we managed to refund most of our parts. Let's go back into the VAB and figure out what the issue is with the with the parachutes. I'm going to check the mass of the parachutes. Because I know this thing can reach 18,000. All the calculations were there, but then I added parachutes and I didn't take the change in mass into account. Clearly. Right. Is it that parachute? It's all of them. They are all really, really quite, uh, quite heavy. Okay. Is there a lighter parachute we can use? Do I need two drogue chutes? That's the other question. Can I get away with one parachute and one drogue chute? How's this one? 1170. I'm just looking at the maximum delta V there. 1151. Okay. What if I was to do that, get rid of that, and then put this one on here, like that? One two two eight. Without them, what was it? One three seven six. 
All right, not only does that reduce the mass, that should help full stop. Yeah, that should help full stop. Um, they're not that heavy, but I guess we really do not have that much in the way of power. I guess I could always add a little bit more to the tank if required. There you go, you two fire at the same time, you fire first, then that. Let's try this variant. The first one got us up to 13,000. That was, we've got an extra 100 meters per second. 13,000, extra 100 meters per second. We've got the fuel, we can manage this. If we can hold it around, if I can get to 400 meters per second, manage to hold it, get it pushing up, I think we should be able to reach about 19, 20,000 feet. Probably cutting this fine, but I think we can go for about 20,000 feet. I think. Okay, so now that we know the parachute was the cause of the problem, let's try this again. Thunderbird style. Five, four, Three, two, one. Tesla EXP01 is a go. Ooh, okay. You're a go, but... Okay, fine. You want to go that way? Go that way. Go that way, fine. But I want you to have upwards momentum. That's the important part. There we go. There we go. Upwards momentum. Now we're talking. Keep going, upwards momentum, no more than... I want to try and hold this at 60. Come on. That's good. Okay. About 60 degrees. That's, that's looking good for me. Right, let's ease ourselves off the power a bit. Not, not so that we reduce. So we can, there we go. Come on. And we're past that threshold. Full acceleration, let's get up to about 400 meters per second. Should be able to reach 400. And then if we can hold 400 for 15 seconds, we should be okay. There's 400. This is uh, not easy to control. Ooh, we're slowing down. Oh, that's bad. But we are going to make it. I think we are going to make it. 16. I said it's going to cut it close. I was thinking 19, but let's get ready to observe the materials bay. There's 18,000. Just need to make sure that we are in the right place. Yes. Observe materials bay. Okay. I did say 19, didn't I? I know my science. See? I know, I know my science. I'm not terrible at this stuff. There we go. Come on. Uh, this one. Irradiate mystery goo. Come on, come on, come on. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Ah. Oh. That's actually gone surprisingly well. Let's close the materials bay. Open the doors. No, they're, they're already open. Right, so we've gathered it. Now all we need to do is... Uh, all we need to do is actually manage to uh, recover this. This is where things are going to get difficult. So I'm going to deploy the chute already. Oh, it, it's managing... It does deploy very quickly, but it is managing. It's slowing it down nicely. I think we're I think we're doing this. I think we're going to be, be able to recover this. This is good. This is really, really good. So it looks like that mystery goo is the same as this mystery goo. I think. Right. Oh, the other one, it's it's got an additional 6 metres per second. 
But, I mean, I think we're doing well. I think we're doing really, really well here. Five meters per... 5.4 meters per second hitting the ground. We should be absolutely fine. Shouldn't have any difficulty there. Provided I perhaps do not leave it at four times speed. That's that's the one thing that perhaps sometimes messes things up. But I'm going to say this again. I really like the water. There we go. So it's about a meter per second more than the last one. 4.1 was our last one, I believe. And we are underwater. We are safe. Let's recover it. Please tell me that that worked. I'm hoping uh, that I have kind of proved my uh, credentials there with science by being able to approximate that uh, the apoapsis or the peak of that particular run. As long as we managed to hit the 400 meters per second, I knew we should be able to make it to about 19,000. My voice is really doing weird things. Okay, so we got, we got 55.1 science. We managed to recover 9,700. Why did we recover? Oh, we recovered less because we had less on it. Duh. Uh, right. Let's see what's next for mission control. Uh, we have... Epic Space Program, first flight, two new heights. Uh, the Space Program's own research and development de department. Okay, fine. Headed by celebrity rocket scientist Wenher Von... Oh, it's Mr. Okay, it's him. These guys are the brains of the whole operation, driven by an unquenchable thirst for knowledge. I'm going to try and do this as like an introduction to something. No piece of data is too small or too irrelevant and increasing the accumulated knowledge of Kerbal Kind is their main motivation. Our resident geniuses only ask to be given due academic credit for their contributions to science, and that all astronauts please refrain from entering the labs without cleaning their boots first. But I'm, I'm confused. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, I didn't click it. That's why. Okay. It was... I had it... Okay, fine. Right, so let's click that. Send your rocket to new heights by reaching the upper atmosphere. What? So we're... Okay, so we're now taking a person up there. Fine, that's that's great. So now, now it's a man going up there or a Kerbal going up there. Right. This is all about... Administration says that we can legally... We cannot call ourselves a space program without actually going to space this is true this is true but i think we are we are starting to get there very very quickly okay orbit curve in that is going to match up with that one so look all you have to do is accelerate parallel with the surface to the unstable orbit exactly and then this is the exact same thing so we have to orbit curve in awesome Field research. Oh, we've still got more of these to do. Material studies everywhere. Well, I'll have to do that off camera. I'm not going to perform another material study from upper atmosphere. Perform another material study while flying at Kerbin. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to have a look at that. Part testing. I still have no idea where this one is. I'll have to keep looking. Um... I'm not sure if this one works. I think I've tried that before, but we can now start having a look at ones like that. Remote Tech also has one. Create a network for Kerbin. Ooh. Ooh, that looks really cool. Okay, those are going to be really nice when we go to space. That's important. And then we've got the atmospheric scans. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to take a look at research and development right now. We have 133 science, which means we are capable of grabbing. Oh, we're 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 two science short. I cannot believe it. We are two science short of grabbing all three of these. That's annoying. What's this? Simple command modules. They would be interesting. Okay, 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 fine. Let's see what 
what we could what could be of particular use to us uh, the Lord stability enhancer that those would be very useful actually we could build submarines I must have if you build submarine ooh that's interesting we could actually build a better aircraft now that is very interesting to me for the whole scansat stuff and we've got subsonic flight VTOL engines are also really quite interesting to me okay I think general construction is is one that we need that is definitely one and then we cannot get any of those but we could get another one of this if we wanted to so what do we have here a service module tank a nose cones a safety light sure radial airbags they're probably useful a derp storage box whatever that means I'm thinking we can create another aircraft now I mean I know we're supposed to go to space but now maybe we should be focusing on going to space in which case these survivability modules are probably really important as is advanced rocketry okay so maybe we should be looking at getting both of those let's grab advanced rocketry and then I can always do the mission off camera and get the this one as well and then we can work on whatever else we need all right advanced rocketry it is there we go we've got it we're down to 43.5 science um mission control how much time do we have in this episode we have a little bit of time maybe I could just grab this and start it not that where is it field research there it is I mean it's material study and then it just has to be recovered and what's the quickest one to get to the VAB do it recover do it recover it's going to give us what we need this is going to definitely give us what we need we I might as well take it because I'm going to do it anyway and let's jump into the space plane hangar and see if we can uh in fact hang on what's my Kerbal Rover my Kerbal Rover has the materials bay on it that's not a materials bay that's a lie uh, my Kerbal Rover does not have a materials bay on it let's jump to the space plane hangar shall we right it is the Kerbal Rover 1 which apparently has unknown parts once again it's probably that but it's been replaced now right so we've got that what's we I don't know that does that how much liquid fuel do we put in this thing that's a service bay that's a, that is science junior that's the materials bay right hang on I'm sure that's the materials bay science junior science junior there it is observe materials bay right okay let's just go take this out for a for a spin to to end this uh, to end this video we're not going far we're not going far at all we're just going to go to the VAB to start with grab it and then go to the whatever it is and just grab whatever we can I still need to remove those poppy indicators they're just too big right let's get this all the way down the route down the road We'll turn this off and then go over to the VAB, grab what we need. That might just give us enough to get the last bit that we were after, but obviously I need to do the entire mission. So I won't be doing the entire mission. Uh, on the brakes, nice and easy. There we go. We need to look at upgrading some of these things as well. Whoa! Well... I'm reverting that. What happened? Oh, I know what happened. I I hit the brakes and turned at the same time. And rolled the car over. That's an exaggeration of what would happen if you slammed on the brakes and turned the car uh, at the same time. And you had a an imbalance on the wheels. Or the load would just push all the way over to the other side. And uh, 
you'd, you'd have all the load on the outside wheels, the front wheels would lift up, and it just tips over. Shouldn't have happened. I'm not sure if something's changed between the last time I played it and now, but... I think it's just me. Let's slow ourselves down right the way. There we go. Now it shouldn't tip over at all. Now it doesn't want to turn. I have no idea what, what just happened. It seems to be okay now. Anyway, off to the VAB we go to grab our little bits and bobs. And that is where I am going to actually end this episode. So thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Kerbal Space Program. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. Don't forget to support me on Patreon. www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Your support would be massively, massively appreciated. It would really, really help me out. Also, you can find me on social media at ECGadgetLP for both Twitter and Instagram. Uh, have I done one? There we go, I've done that one, so that is what I'm going to recover. That is all from me. Uh, this was not as constructive an episode as I wanted, but we did manage to get a few things done, and we learnt that parachutes are really, really heavy. So I guess I will see you guys next time. I'm waiting for the screen to come back up. Any time now. Come on. Come on. There we go. 14,000 recovered. Fine. Yes. There we go. No new ribbons. Click that. Grab that. And I will see you guys next time in Kerbal Space Program.